been a while since I've done one of these. Give me a hum in the background. AC's on, it's hot. Artists, you should know. Sorry, I'm in a parking lot, I'm not used to doing it in public where people can see me. Artists, you should know. Artists, I think you should know about, whatever this thing's called. The Presidents of the United States of America. I've been listening to them a lot lately. I grew up listening to them. Uh, if you don't know, uh, they're like, what are they, post-grunge, after the explosion of uh, Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, all the Seattle stuff. Two years later or so, 95-ish or something, uh, the President of the United States of America came out with their debut album called The Presidents of the United States of America. And they're silly. Listening to them, it makes sense that the lead singer now does children's music. Because if you, if you think of the first record as kids' songs, just with fast drums and distorted guitars, that's what it sounds like. They, they famously played a three-string guitar bass and a two-string bass guitar, so, or, or they have names for them, but a three-string and a two-string guitar they famously played. That came from, I believe, the singer lived or worked with uh, Mark Sandman from Morphine, who I also did a video on, who, who, did, uh, who, who played a one-string, two-string, and a three-string uh, slide basses and basses he, he created. Um, but no, these guys are great. I know they talk all monotone and down, but these uh, I'm not a showman. These guys are great. They burst onto the scene with, uh, uh, I think, Peaches was their first hit, probably their biggest hit. Lump was another song. Kitty. Uh, also on that album, they had uh, uh, Candy, which is one of my favorites, and uh, Old Man on the Back Porch. Naked and Famous. A lot of energy, a lot of wordplay. Really good musicianship. And remembering back when I first heard it, it's the drums. A guy named Jason Finn. He totally uh, does swells. He he pushes the band. He propels the band. He propels the songs. He he his fills are just tasty. He uses cowbells, which really stuck out. But he had cowbells, bells with an S, cowbells, and they're super fun. Now looking back, other other um, artists in my small window of a uh, music. There's some artists that their, their, their first album is just so good. And the, if you're a big fan of them, the rest of their albums might be good. But you know, like, the perfection of the collection of songs, the the the, the trying them, trying to make it, that they that they had of the first one, was never really recaptured. I'll say uh, Violent Femmes' first record, Violent Femmes, Presidents of the United States of America, Presidents of the United States of America, um, The Ramones' first record, and in some bands, uh, I feel it's their fourth record, which is the g good one, or the one that really gets them popular. And for those bands, usually they have a longer, a longevity to them, uh, in my opinion, because they've they've had some underground success and they've been a, they've toured for years and built up a, a core audience. And then when they explode, it kind of just adds to it. Bare Naked Ladies, their fourth uh, album had one week on it. Um, they Might Be Giants, Flood had Istanbul, not Constantinople on it. Uh, and, uh, was it Ween? Uh, Mollusk was their, their third or fourth record. Anyway, that's a side note. The Presidents. So yeah, they had this great album, and kind of looking back, like, how can you top it? They're so silly. They were so kind of innocent and free. I, I read that the singer um, grew up in a... Um, what was it called middle income household so he wasn't like an angsty kid he wasn't an angry kid he wasn't a poor kid he was just he, he he was fine he was comfortable and he wasn't gonna lie he wrote kind of what he knew and what he what he liked which was just silly things because he didn't have to struggle and i don't mean that as a slight i mean that as a compliment he didn't fake it he was just himself and that's awesome they put out two a few years after that and and the rest of their albums in my opinion they were never as good as the first one, but they were gems. They were wonderful songs. Uh, on, um, I think it's Freak Down Small, uh, Nothing But Love, or Nothing But Love, Last Girl on Earth, Jupiter, um, The Man, or Man, Opposable Thumb. These are just wonderful tunes. They did a, a and I think they kind of were fizzling out at that point, they did a, um, 10 year anniversary of the first record, they re-released it, you know, with bonus tracks and, you know, making money. And the, and they, I think they got together and, you know, 
kind of rekindled some musicianship and the joy of each other with a little bit of a break, as most bands need. And they recorded um, Love Everybody, I believe the album's called. I should do more research. But that, song, that album, again, great album. There are gems in it. Uh, it ends with a sweet song called Jennifer's Jacket. Uh, the first song, um, Love Everybody. Uh, Poke and Destroy. There's an instrumental on it. It's just a wonderful record. And they continued. They, again, they never really recaptured but they were wonderful and they retired like gentlemen after a few hiatuses um the official word was because they're old men now they've retired in 2015 so about 20 years of the band why should you know them i, I figured i never really say that in, in artists you should know about or why i think you should know about these the presidents i don't know, be yourself they they found their voice in unique instruments and just the chemistry just the musicianship and the chemistry that they had on those records were, were wonderful uh, and in later later records they added uh, keyboards and more overdubbing so it was never as simplistic which again like the first record uh, syndrome of some bands are so wonderful because it's when it's just the three or four or five of you know whatever band you're listening to yeah presidents of the United States of America you should definitely check them out you need the first record that's a given but God, Tiki God as well uh, Freak Down Small or Love Everybody, those two are, they're just solid records. They're solid records. That's what I got.